who is lazy will be run over. The sentence reminded me that if I stop, that I will die. Confucius is a wise man who said, it doesn't matter how slow you go as long as you don't stop. Ladies and gentlemen, during a pandemic like this, our lives tend to stop, but in fact time goes on. This makes some people unable to be productive. How to be productive if activities outside the home are limited? Even though the average human can spend half a day or even almost one day to work or to activities outside the home. Then the shadow of the coronavirus make people feel anxious and unfocused the workers. Ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic has also made people who have potential to progress like students unable to develop their potential. This happens because no one guy to develop it. If we usually go to school to develop their potential they have, now it's no longer because of the pandemic. Plus, there is a certain sense of laziness and indiscipline when we are at home. Just imagine, sometimes we are lazy to go to school, especially when we are at home. We will like more and forget about our responsibilities, unlike when we were in school. If that potential not developed and covered, how can we especially the youth progress? It will be a pity if that happen. Even though Indonesian youth are the pillars that we support the Indonesian nation. If the pillar is girls, then Indonesian nation will be able to stand strong. Ladies and gentlemen, therefore, we Indonesian youth must be able to develop our potential that exists within us. We must also be productive in the midst of this pandemic so that we can become great people and cannot face Indonesia. And don't forget that we live in an era of globalization, the era of technological sophistication. We can use technology to develop our potential and be productive. Like social media, we can do many things through social media. As happens a few days ago, someone selling superficial animals no longer needs to be face to face. Through a video call, the buyer can see the condition of the superficial animal to be purchased later. As a result, buying and selling superficial animals is easier. Through social media, we can also do things we love. There are no knowledge, install educational application, read news from around the world, or read insightful articles. We can also put educational content so that we and others can gain knowledge together. Like the CC Drawing the Channel, the channel perfect answer to question in life. Space, exploration, and scientific discoveries. This YouTube channel can be your inspiration to create educational content in your own style. Remember to be yourself if you want to work. Then, if you like to make food, pen, draw, or play music, we can develop it. We can make tutorials for cooking Indonesian food, drawing tutorials, or play music tutorials. Share our talents and publish them on social media so that people can be motivated and your talents will grow, your knowledge will increase, and if your videos are liked by many people, you can earn money. We also have to be able to create things that already exist, such as batik, which is a characteristic of Indonesia. We can create it in the clothes, or it can also be a clip to watches. It looks like little elegant. Then we also have a variety of special food. We can innovate traditional food with contemporary form, such as burger with rendang, chandil porridge which is packet like contemporary trick or it can be called boba chandil, pizza with chicken satay topping, unique isn't it? This can be a good business idea. Ladies and gentlemen, let's increase our potential. Let's be productive and let's get out for our comfort zone. Stop asking what this country can give us, but ask yourself what you have to give for this country. Thank you.